Namaste everyone and welcome to my channel. You see in front of you three different piles. This is a love reading. If you have a certain person in mind, maybe this is a crush, maybe this is an ex. Maybe this is just someone where you feel like there is some kind of connection which you can't really explain. There is an invisible bond holding you together although maybe nothing really ever happened between you guys and you want to know okay is this ever going to happen at all um this is your reading okay i don't know right now how i'm going to call it um but i i don't know i feel like this is going to be special this is for special situations um special people every one of you is special and unique don't forget that okay and um, yeah you find the timestamps down low in the description box so this is number one number two and number three let's get started pile number one so is this ever going to happen again or maybe you never had something going on with this person as I said before, um, so let's just see, okay? What do you need to know about this connection? This connection is very... Um, how do you say that in English? I think ambivalent is the same word in English as it is in German. I may pronounce it a little bit weird, but maybe the card, the image helps. Okay, um, this card, the energy talks about doubt. Someone is doubting whether to go this way or the other way. Someone is doubting whether, yeah, to choose you or not. And that is the, yes, <laughs> how should I say that? This is the energy of this connection, okay? Doubts. Not really knowing, is it going to happen? Yes or no? Can I trust this person? Yes or no? Does he feel it for me the same way I feel it for them? Yes or no? This is the problem, okay? This is where you need to work on. Both of you, of course, because it's not helping if one person is a 100% sure and another one and the other person is not right this is probably where you're at maybe you definitely know where you want to be with this person maybe you definitely know that you want to be with them and that maybe you have already chosen this person but they haven't and that's the problem it could be vice versa of course always but most of the times when you come to youtube listening to a pick a card reading it's the other party that's in doubt. It's not you, it's the other party. And that's the problem. Um, another problem that we do see here is that you've done almost everything for this person. Literally. Maybe you've been traveling around the world for this. Maybe, maybe it's not just a person. Maybe it's something that comes along with this person. Let's just say, and I'm just creating a scenario here, okay, make it yours, because this will not um, resonate with 99% of you, but just so you have an idea what I mean, let's just say this is your mentor, okay, Anthony Robbins. A mentor can also be your yoga teacher, right? Um, and you travel all around the world for this person and this energy this thing so to say it's not just about the person it's what they represent it's what they come along with you know um it's the glamour yes sometimes it's also the glamour and maybe it's the theme maybe this person is all about healing the world maybe this person is all about um charity or with the example of Anthony Robin some of you will not know him but he's a great big very popular and famous speaker and he talks about positive energies and the law of attraction and how he is able to change his life and to earn more money and all these things you know like the new age mentology um, so maybe 
the thing is, this is the card that talks about I sacrificed myself for this person. And that's a problem because sometimes it can be good to sacrifice something, just, you know, like a little bit. But if it's, there's a tipping point. And some people, they give everything, money, energy, love. But what they get out of it, yes, you may get something out of it. I mean, if you hear Anthony Robbins talking, of course you get something in return. But the question is, how much did you pay, you know? So think about that. I feel like this is a, a an energy, this is a relationship where it's pretty much one-sided. And I'm sorry to say it's so straightforward. But, and yes, I mean, how could I not see this card? Yeah, the codependency card. I, and that was actually what I wanted to say. You know, that would have been the next thing. Codependency, exactly. It's pretty one-sided and someone is sacrificing themselves for somebody else but the other party is not paying back enough in return and that is something you should think about so with these cards alone i would say this is not going to turn out the way how you want this to turn out but hey we're not done yet so this card i want to be the joker card okay the next year, Ace of Hearts, is going to be very important in this relationship. The next year is where you will find your answers, where you will finally know whether this is your person or not. You have to get to know each other better. And this is going to happen pretty soon, maybe even sooner than you think. And I'm, I'm honest with you, okay? This is a little surprise to me as well. I would have not thought that these two cards would have popped up. But yeah, things are going to change, I feel, in this relationship, surprisingly. It will probably surprise yourself. And maybe, yeah, we see here the three of coins is coming out. Um, promotion, recognition, appreciation. So maybe whatever you put in in the past is finally paying out, which would be awesome. And I, I mean, hey, I wish you guys only the best, okay? I don't know who's watching. I don't know who's listening, but I am a neutral reader, you know? I don't know you, so I wish you only the best. I want you to be happy. And this is also what a card reader told me once. She said to me, you know, like I was asking and asking and hey, can you have a look again? And what do you think he thinks and blah, blah. And then, and, and then I, I said, yeah, and what, did, what does the universe say about it? And she said, you know what, Diara, the universe wants you to be happy. And that sounds so mundane, so simple, doesn't it? But let it sink in. The universe, they just want you to be happy, okay? And how you think you have to make yourself happy is pretty much up to you, right? If you think it makes you happy to sacrifice yourself, then, hey, do what you have to do, okay? Spirit wants you to be happy. They let you do whatever you want to do. But anyways, coming back to the cards, I feel... There is a little bit of surprise going to happen in the future. You don't have to wait for it so long. Maybe an unexpected email, a totally unexpected call or encounter. Maybe you guys will run into each other after a long time without contact. Um, who knows? Maybe it's already starting. You know, maybe this person is already this invisible pull towards you. It's like a magnetic attraction and all of a the sudden, they find themselves wanting to getting to know you better. Yeah, the Empress. I feel like you've worked on yourself a lot. Maybe you had these tendencies, the ones I've been talking about before, like sacrificing yourself and so on. And maybe the situation really was a little bit one-sided. Um, but you, 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 you've changed. 
pile number one. You have become the empress, at least a little bit more. You've learned your lessons. Bottom of the deck, we see the world, which is a very good card. And actually, it's a yes card. Okay, so if we ask the question, is this ever going to happen? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. You just have to wait a little bit longer, okay? But I feel it's it's happening sooner than than you thought. Surprisingly. I feel like this is going to be a surprise. Maybe not just to you, maybe to a lot of other people's as well, by the way. Okay, I think I leave it here. You know me, my readings are maybe a little bit short, but I feel they are very much straight to the point and that is what I want, okay? This is not about quantity, this is all about quality, okay? So, pile number two. What's going on for you? What do we need to know for you? You and your person. Is this ever going to happen? Okay, I feel like there was a lot of competition going on. Maybe the moment you met this person, they've been with someone else. And that was right away a big, fat problem. This is the competition card. Comparing, competing, you know, like there was always the energy of, will they choose me? I'm not the only one. This person has a lot of options. Maybe they still have. Okay, but let's focus on the good things. I see, yes, there is still potential. And I feel this is not the end yet. I feel this person has been very demanding. They ask a lot of you. They've been very bossy. Okay, they wanted a lot from you. And especially with the competition card, I mean, I could imagine a lot of different scenarios. I read for a lot of people and every situation is different. But let's just say you are a dancer and you are asking for this one big project. Will I ever be the lead dancer, you know, in this or that theater or something along these lines? Um, like, and your, your teacher, you know, um, the boss of the dance company is asking a lot from all of you and yes of course I mean between dancers and actors and and artists singers and whatever there is a lot of competition going on always no matter the branch you know no matter the field but there's always a lot of competition because you're not the only one who's talented right I mean there are a lot of good looking people out there a lot of great dancers and singers and whatever and you're your person, they've been very demanding and they ask for a lot. Maybe they've asked you to do this and that training and this and that workshop and it costs you a lot of money, not just energy and what, but also money and time. But the good news, <laughs> pile number two, after all this effort, after all this effort, I feel like good things are about to happen. You deserve to be loved, okay? That is message number one for you. You definitely deserve to be loved because you are good enough. Yes, I mean, maybe you're not the only one who's talented, but you are talented and this is what you should focus on, right? Don't compare yourself with others. Others, you know, like they have their own thing going on and that's okay, right? No one is supposed to be better you know, in a spiritual sense, but I mean, yes, in real life, you know, there is a lot of competition and what, but spirit wants you, message number one, to know that you deserve to be love and they want you to call out your soulmate. I feel like you did call out your soulmate a lot and you showed your love a lot and your passion and, you know, that you really want it and stuff. And here it is. I was kind of waiting for this card. Give your relation a second chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, I feel there is still a chance. And you know me. I'm, I'm very honest. I would never, you know, sugarcoat something. If I see a no, I would tell it to you. 
Uh, again, the Empress card, yes. I think you've worked a lot on yourself and that is why your energy kind of, it shifted, it changed a lot. And whoever it is that you are asking about, asking for, they feel it. They feel that you have turned into a different person. You're not the same anymore. You're not the one you used to be two years or maybe three years ago. You change. I mean, it's still you, right? It's still the same body. It's still the same person, right? And maybe the same clothes and whatnot. But your energy internally, you, it kind of shifted. And this is what this person feels. And this is also what makes you attracted somehow, I feel. Um, so maybe you are now the one who thinks about whether you want them again or not. Whether you still want to be with this person and with what they have to offer you, right? Um, so this is a complete transformation, I feel, on your side. Is there anything else? You are also way more feminine. This is the yin card. You have shifted a little bit more to the feminine side, you know, the divine feminine. And yeah, as I said, I feel this relation still has some potential if you want it okay so it's also up to you it's not anymore what they want it's also now what you want because you have options too what i can let you know pile number two is that within the next month some things will definitely happen and you will get your answers okay so this is the time card. Yeah, big happy changes. So either, whether it is this person or someone entirely new, pile number two, I feel like you are going to be in a committed relationship in the future. Maybe not with this person, maybe with this person, who knows, if you want it, if you still want it, because the page of hearts is a very, very, very positive card, extremely positive, okay? Um, and who knows, I mean, maybe you needed the comp comparison and the competition. Maybe you kind of needed it. Maybe your soul needed to compare. Maybe you just needed this very harsh, yeah, you know, thing and experience in order to grow and to, and also to discover your potential and your beauty. Sometimes it's like that. It's weird, yes, it's hard, yes, but sometimes... Well, I mean, sometimes we need it. Maybe sometimes we need it the hard way, as they say, right? So take what resonates, leave the rest behind, part number two. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you could take something out of it. And I will continue now with part number three. Last but not least, part number three. What do we need to know about your relationship and whether or not there is still potential? Let's see. Okay, there was the problem in this relationship. Let's start with this. Is that someone was needy. This is the neediness card. Someone really, really wanted this other person to, to choose them. You see the image? And someone, and the problem was also that someone didn't choose the other party and then also and this neediness was based upon I want to be special and I don't know about you but um, I feel a lot of people have this in themselves you know you want to be special you want to be the one you want to be the chosen one you want to be part of yeah the the upper society, and I don't mean it in a literal way, actually. Um, this is probably not at all about money and being famous and rich. Maybe it is, though. This is why teenagers, you know, they fall in love with Chris Martin or Tom Brady and Robbie Williams and, I don't know, you know, Beyonce and Kim Kardashian. Because... What they have is something that you want to have for yourself as well. You want to be special. 
you wanted to be special to this person. And that was part of huh, the, the, the story here, you know, between you and them. Um, the thing is, you guys are pretty much alike, okay? They want to be special, you want to be special, right? It's like a toe-to-toe -to -toe situation somehow. It's like who blinks first. You are pretty much alike. Totally different probably, but still very much the same. And yeah, that is about the story. And that is also, the good news maybe is that yes, you are special to this person. And obviously this person is special to you. And I do get the message that yes, there is still some potential. You have to overcome the neediness though. That is your lesson. The lesson within this connection, the reason why you have been brought together by spirit is to overcome the neediness. It is okay to like wanting to be special. That is totally okay. It's okay that you want people to see you, to appreciate you, to respect you, to treat you in a proper way and stuff. That is totally okay. Okay, don't get me wrong here. But you have to cut out the neediness. That's the point. That's the thing. Trust that you will get what you deserve. Trust that people will choose you. The right people will choose you. You have to forgive and forget. I think maybe things have been said here that you probably regret. Maybe they regret something, you know. But I still, I, I stick with my feeling. Yeah, you see, don't give up. There is still potential. If you are able to overcome the neediness, stay positive, part number three, because I feel this is not the end yet. Maybe a lot of ugly things happened along the way. I don't know, maybe not. I mean, maybe nothing ever happened and that's the problem. It will be different, you know, like for, for every single one of you because again, I read for a lot of people. This is a general reading. This is not a personal reading, okay? If 70 or maybe 80% of what I say fits, then that is a lot, you know? Um, yeah, you have to become the queen of wands. You know, like you have to go your way, you have to keep the scepter in your hand, right? You have to shine your light, it's fire, it's passion, it's warmth, it's about, yeah, like go for what you want, you know, like you go girl, do your thing and that will change the whole situation, that will change your energy, that will bring you into different uh, levels, you know, and layers, and you will radiate a totally different energy once you are stepping into your divine feminine power. This queen, she is all about the feminine power, you know, woman power. This is about empowerment. This is about, yeah, ruling your own world. And if you can make it to this point, you have all reason to stay positive. And hey, I tell you what, even if it's not this person, you will attract others, other men, other men who will fit even better. Because maybe there was a point where once you thought this has to be the one, there's no other one like this person. And yes, maybe you're right. I mean, everybody is unique. Everyone is very special and there is no one else like this person. But hey, who knows? Maybe you don't really fit to someone who is exactly like this person. Maybe you need someone who is different than this person. Maybe that's the point, right? But still, um, yeah, again, you know, like this card is all about being very much into yourself. Um, there is a special word in English. Maybe you want to screenshot this word and then you can translate it with your Google translator. I don't have a translator next to me, otherwise I would do it. You know, it's about being very much into you, like a big ego, 
is going on here. And that is, again, the problem. As I said before, someone wanted to be special here. Someone acted like a diva, maybe a masculine diva, I don't know. <laughs> you know? So, but still, yeah, and self-worth. Yeah, this was a big, fat lesson for both of you about self-worth and, yeah, ego. And sometimes, yes, we have to tame down our ego. We have to understand that, yes, I'm special, but I'm not that special. I'm maybe not special to this person. And that is also something to cope with, right? But anyways, as I said in the beginning, part number three, I do still see some, um, some, some chances because you guys are so much alike. And that's exactly the point. Um... You guys are soulmates in a very special way. And I always say it, soulmates is not definitely a guarantee. You guys will be together as a couple, but it is defining that you are burning probably for the same thing. You have the same qualities within yourselves. And that was you know, the reason in the first place why you've been brought together, why you run into this person. Um, is there anything else actually Spirit wants you to know? Maybe one final, very last card here for those who have chosen pile number three. Get help from friends. Ask for support. Maybe you guys would be better as friends, just friends, not lovers, but friends. Maybe that is the solution. Maybe that is the answer. Okay, I think I leave it here. I hope you could take something from it. Peace out. Leave a comment, share, like, and subscribe as usual. It really helps me and my channel. Thank you so much. Peace out. Namaste.